Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to Ra Online Education. I'm Dr. Maheshwaran K. S. I'm a lecturer, Department of Prosthodontics, Sri Ramachandra Faculty of Dental Sciences. Today we are going to be looking at metal ceramic crown preparation. What are the do's and don'ts? So contents is going to basically include your introduction, followed by indications and contraindications. So basically, what are the situations where we can go for a metal ceramic crown? What are the advantage and disadvantages of this crown compared to other crowns? Parts of a metal ceramic restoration. It is important. It makes you understand why you need to prepare the tooth in one particular way. Okay. Margin designs. I'll just be briefly explaining about the margin designs and what you need to follow for this particular metal ceramic crown restoration. Then the recommended minimal dimension of the restoration that is required for a good structural integrity okay followed by armamentarium that is used for the preparation then i'm going to explain to you step by step what is the metal ceramic crown preparation for a maxillary central incisor following which i'm going to tell you briefly about tooth preparation for maxillary premolars which can also be followed for all other maxillary posterior tooth okay then we go to conclusions and reference so what is metal ceramic restoration basically you have a metal substrate over which ceramic is going to be veneered okay the degree or the extent of veneering the ceramic over the metal can vary okay for example these pictures that you see they have a metal substrate first and on top of that the ceramic is completely veneered okay this is the metal ceramic crown that we commonly use every day right but actually textbook wise according to your Schillingberg or Rosenstiel metal ceramic crown preparation was actually designed for a ceramic facing meaning you will have your ceramic veneered only over the labial or the buccal surface if it's your posterior tooth okay and a part of the occlusal or incisal surface it does not get veneered over the entire crown the remaining occlusal surface and the palatal aspect of it will have only metal this was the ideal design preparation that was given. Why was this given? Because you veneer your ceramic and only in areas where it is going to show outside, basically for your aesthetics. Apart from aesthetics, if it's going to be just function, your metal is more than enough. Because for veneering ceramic over a metal, you have to prepare more amount of tooth structure. So the entire aim of an ideal design for a metal ceramic crown preparation was that you be very conservative in preparing the tooth. You prepare the tooth only where ceramic is going to be veneered. Other areas where you don't need ceramic, where it is not going to be shown outside, why do you have to go ahead and prepare more amount of tooth structure? No. Enamel is like gold for dentists. Okay. Every millimeter that you're reducing is priceless for us. Okay. You don't get it back. Okay. Please do not go and do an aggressive preparation. That is why initially the metal ceramic crown preparation was actually a ceramic facing type of design but nowadays for the convenience of the operator as well as the lab technician we have substituted conservative preparation with our convenience okay ideally your metal ceramic crown preparation are not always like this they are not a, a metal substrate with a ceramic we need completely over it they are actually like a ceramic facing where you have your ceramic only in the aspect where aesthetics is going to matter. Other areas, your metal is only going to be there. Okay. So let's see what the definition is. Metal ceramic restoration or porcelain fused to metal restoration, basically an artificial crown or fixed complete or partial denture that uses a metal substrate and porcelain we need. Simple. Okay. So this was what I was talking about. This we call it a ceramic facing, but this is actually the metal ceramic crown restoration. Okay, this is how the metal ceramic restoration was ideally designed. You give ceramic only in areas where aesthetics is going to be an aspect. In other areas, you're just going to give metal because metal can be casted as thin as one millimeter and sometimes 0.5 millimeters near the margins. That is enough. It has good rigidity it can survive the occlusal force okay but ceramic will require more amount more thickness for it to take up the occlusal load okay so sufficient tooth reduction is still required for the success of metal ceramic crown because you basically have two layers a metal layer and a ceramic layer both of which have a minimal 
thickness that needs to definitely be followed otherwise your restoration is going to break apart okay so metal ceramic preparation becomes one of the least conservative type of preparation okay the most conservative is obviously your metal okay you just need one millimeter throughout okay not more than that only in the functional cusp regions you might require about 1.5 millimeters otherwise it's one millimeter throughout near the margins you can even keep it as thin as 0.5 millimeters okay but when it comes to metal ceramic you are going to almost double the amount of tooth reduction hence it is one of the least conservative type why is it is one of the least because all ceramic preparation where you don't have a metal substrate at all is actually going to require more amount of reduction okay it is also known as porcelain fused to metal we commonly call it as pfm crowns okay or ceramo metal restoration okay so what do you mean by a colorless metal ceramic restoration so you have a variant of metal ceramic restoration where the metal does not appear in the collar areas okay it is basically a metal ceramic restoration with extension of ceramic material onto the finish line of preparation without visible metal substrate in the marginal area so basically your porcelain crown margin is in direct contact with the prepared finish line meaning in a normal metal ceramic restoration it is your metal that is going to come in contact with the finish line or partly metal partly ceramic mostly it is your metal coming in contact with the finish line since the metal is extending till the finish line either fully or partly it is definitely going to be shown outside in certain situations okay you may have a gray hue in those areas so they came up with a variant where the ceramic is actually extending beyond the metal these areas you can see the ceramic is obviously extending beyond the metal and this ceramic is what is going to completely come in contact with the finish line so the metal is absolutely not seen outside at all but the problem with this is that if ceramic is going to only come in contact with the finish line then you need to give only a shoulder finish line which is actually the least conservative type of finish line where you will be removing a lot of tooth structure in the dentino enamel junction area which is like the peripheral rim of your teeth that is where all your stresses are actually getting concentrated so it is better that you stay as conservative as possible at least in the finish line region okay so now let's see the indications of metal ceramic restoration <music>